All right, hello everybody, I'm Gilo, and today I'm going to be going over the Pet Promenade event that is, I guess, currently running, but you're going to see this after it ends, and this is, in my opinion, the best way to get Scroll of Fortune points. It's very easy. I'll show you how to do everything. You can do it in, like, maybe 10 or so minutes per wizard, like, chilling. So, Pet Promenade. So what you have to do here is you have to win pet games, uh, feed a pet snack, and it says one point per pet age up to epic. So that means if you have an epic pet or higher, it'll give uh, five points. Hatch pet gives you a quick 25. And then obviously feeding pet snacks for happiness, pretty straightforward. So uh, one thing I can do in the matter of about five seconds is feed my pet three shantas. It can honestly be anything, but it's how it is. And there you go. I'm already 25 points in. So the second way to get points quickly is to obviously hatch a pet. And the easiest way to do this is instead of spending like 90k gold at the kiosk, you can simply hatch two blood bats. Um, and it... It costs like less than 4,000 gold. So if you're kind of running low on gold, just do this. It'll be fine. One of the rewards from this is it gives you 5k gold anyway. So it's pretty much free. So there you go. You can just trash the egg after if you want. But just like that, I'm at 450 points. So it's pretty self-explanatory for that. Now, the last way is a little bit more tedious and it involves uh, doing pet games. So for me, I like to play Grumpy Gobblers. It's pretty easy for me to do. Uh, this will require like 60 energy if you have a mega pet, uh, less if you only have an epic pet, but that's how it is sometimes. So for a game like Grumpy Gobblers, a uh, dance game is probably faster, but I just like this because I played Angry Birds a lot <laughs> when I was a lot younger, so. I just have a bunch of games played in this, uh, and I know how to do most of the maps. So, with this, this counts right here as one pet game, if I win it, which I just did. So, once this finishes, this alone, this game right here, will give me five points. And then, once I hit next, I can just feed my pet, like, a rank one snack, like a starfruit or something. And there you go. Like, it doesn't give you that much XP, so you can keep your Mega Pet for future Promenade events. And, I mean, already I have, with, with just that, I just got 10 points. So, yeah. Rumpy Gobblers is arguably one of the easiest games in the Pet Pavilion, but... Only if you know how to do all the maps. So, I will cut back when I have all of the games played. So, this is my final game, and I want to show you why I play Grumpy Gobblers for these. And that's because it's possible to just do them all, or do at least a few of them, in just one cannon shot. Like, think about that. <laughs> so... Once all of these finish, I will feed my pet the last snack. And I guess we can just do like a flaming carrot or something. And there you go. Took me like maybe five minutes to do everything in this list <laughs> on one wizard. So pretty crazy. And I have like four wizards doing this. So for a scroll of fortune, kind of life boon jade, let's go. Um, with double points, you can very easily get 200 points a day with this for like a week or however long the promenade runs. So triple animus elixir, let's go. All right. But that is going to wrap up the tutorial on how to do the pet promenade quickly, efficiently. It takes less than five minutes per wizard. So we're kind of chilling. Anyway, thank you all for watching. I'll see you in the next one.
and goodbye.